Welcome to Chef Throwdown, where our General Mills chefs showcase their culinary skills with creative takes on the latest food trends to help you win big with your customers. This time, our chefs each share one of their favorite family desserts, showing how they can work in a food service setting. From catering to weddings, graduations, and more, these beloved dishes are sure to delight. Chef Gilles creates Charlotte au chocolat. Chef Monica brings us a bit of romance with her almond butter cake. And Chef Sonia shows us how she's combined two favorites into one Black Forest dessert. Let's throw down. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my favorite dessert, a Charlotte au chocolat. It's dear to my heart because it's something that reminds me of my childhood. And I've been uh, able to create a very easy way to make it using our Pillsbury uh, raspberry and white chocolate scone. I simply baked it in a loaf and then made a biscotti out of it. The next step is super simple. I just dip it in some raspberry jam and put it at the outside of a cake pan right here. As you can see, I just put it on the outside. And then the next steps are super easy and this is where you can be creative. So first I did a layer of chocolate mousse. As you can see, what I like to do is add a little bit of texture in the middle. So I, I'm doing some of these crumbs. Growing up, uh, my mom usually made some of uh, just plain vanilla biscuit, but this adds a lot of flavor, which is nice as well. And then the next step is I'm gonna do another layer of the dark chocolate mousse. Make sure that you use some delicious Belgian chocolate in there. That makes a huge difference. A little bit of bitterness, not as sweet. Definitely makes for an amazing chocolate mousse. There you go. And then the toppings are pretty much up to you. So we can do a little bit of whipped cream if we want at the top. Uh, there you go, I'll do a little bit on the outside. And then uh, I like to use some of the raspberries so that you can see right away that uh, the biscuit is raspberry flavored and that this is something that will be present in the cake. And then we can also do some more of the Belgian chocolate as a garnish on top. Uh, there's different options you can do. You could do some more of the chocolate chip. And then uh, back home, they always put some fresh mint as a garnish as well. So when you plate it, you can do some of that. So I hope you'll try this, but I know for sure that I'm gonna have a huge slice just about right now. Thank you. I am from Kentucky. My family's farm is in the heart of Kentucky. We were seven miles from where Nancy, Abraham Lincoln's mother, was born. I grew up going to the Lincoln Homestead State Park and played there as a child, but I never knew about Abraham Lincoln's favorite cake until I picked up this cookbook. Uh, Marion Flexner is a well-known uh, Kentucky food editor, and I discovered that apparently Mary Todd prepared this white almond cake for Abraham Lincoln in their courtship, and he absolutely adored it. So that seemed like a good reason for me to make it for my own wedding, so here's a picture of us at our wedding eating this almond cake. Uh, and my sweet Lee likes this cake every bit as well as Abraham Lincoln did, honestly. So that was the history and the romance. And now for the recipe, I use our gold medal white cake mix and the almonds. You see the almonds aren't real finely ground. I wanna have that texture in the cake. I like to add some applesauce for some sweetness and some moisture. And then I've started adding some cardamom to it. Maybe it's because I've lived in Minnesota for a while and it's kind of a, I don't know, a Norwegian Scandinavian thing. But I like that. I think the pairing of the cardamom with the almond is just a really nice flavor combination. So after I've mixed the cake, I bake it in a bundt pan. And this is what it looks like. And then to finish this cake, I like to do a brown butter glaze. I brown the butter, add powdered sugar, some cream, and then I have to add some bourbon because after all, I am from Kentucky. So then to plate this, I like to serve it with some whipped cream and some blackberries. So there you have it, Kentucky lore, love, and an excellent recipe. I 
today I'm going to talk about family favorites and my family favorite is Black Forest Cherry Cake. So I want to give you and show you my vibe on that. So the first part is we actually take cake mix, we put it in a sprayed muffin tin, cover it with parchment, another pan, and it's actually going to steam the cake. The cool part about that is we get these nice little thimble cakes. And so one of the things when I was a kid, I used to like a uh, birthday cake, chocolate cake, and I got introduced to cherry cheese pie. So it became a new favorite. So I actually am making um, cherry syrup. And some of the things that you have to have with the Black Forest cherry cake, you just have to have whipped cream, cherries, and chocolate. So we're gonna give a little vibe there. So I'm actually gonna move these forward. And so one of the cool parts was, you know, with the birthday, I actually really liked the cherry cake or the chocolate cake, but I also really liked um, the cherry. So my mom said, did you know that you could actually have both of them? And so she taught me about the German chocolate or the chocolate cherry cake. And so with the black forest cake, we actually went and put the different containers on there. And we're gonna give it one more set of topping. And we're gonna top it off with some shaved chocolate today too. But we'll give you one down the center. And here's some more yum. So on my birthdays, this is my new favorite. Hopefully it'll be your favorite too. Thanks. Follow us on social media for more ideas and inspirations.